August 6, 1945, marked the dawn of the atomic age and a terrifying new chapter in warfare. As the world slumbered, the early morning hours witnessed the Enola Gay, a B-29 bomber, silently taking off from the Pacific island of Tinian. Nestled within its belly was an object of unparalleled power and devastation, Little Boy, a name innocuous for the first atomic bomb ever used in warfare. The air within the Enola Gay was thick with tension. Each member of the crew understood the high stakes of their mission, the uncertainty of the outcome was palpable, yet they pressed on, guided by a purpose that was larger than any one individual. Their mission was not just to drop a bomb, but to change the course of history. As the sun rose over the city of Hiroshima, a destructive force unlike anything the world had ever seen was about to be unleashed. In an instant, Hiroshima was transformed into a scene of unimaginable devastation. It was a typical Monday morning on August 6, 1945, when the world was forever changed. A single aircraft, the Enola Gay, soared through the sky, its deadly cargo poised to unleash unprecedented destruction. As the bomb fell, there was a blinding flash of light brighter than a thousand suns. The city beneath was engulfed in a searing heat that was hotter than the surface of the sun. In the following moments a shockwave tore through Hiroshima, leveling buildings as if they were made of paper. The city's vibrant downtown once bustling with life was instantaneously reduced to ruins. Fires ignited across the city creating an inferno that consumed everything in its path. The once picturesque city was now a burning wasteland, a testament to the devastating power of the atomic bomb. The mushroom cloud that rose over Hiroshima was a sight that would be etched into the annals of history. It was a terrifying spectacle, a towering column of smoke and debris that seemed to touch the heavens. It was a stark reminder of the destructive force that had been unleashed, a force that had never before been seen in human history. The loss of life was staggering. Tens of thousands of lives were extinguished in the blink of an eye. Men, women, children, no one was spared from the indiscriminate wrath of the atomic bomb. The city was filled with the cries of the dying and the wounded, a chilling symphony of despair and suffering. The scale of the devastation was unprecedented. Hiroshima, a city of over 300,000 people, was all but wiped off the map. The shock that followed was palpable, a chilling realization of the horrifying new reality of atomic warfare. In the blink of an eye, Hiroshima had become a symbol of the terrifying power of nuclear warfare. The world had entered a new era one in which humanity had the power to destroy itself. It was a sobering reminder of the potential cost of war, a lesson that continues to resonate to this day. The bombing of Hiroshima marked a turning point in history, its impact resonating far beyond the immediate devastation. In the aftermath of the cataclysm, the city was left in ruins, yet the human spirit proved resilient. Hiroshima, like a phoenix, slowly but surely rose from the ashes, the city's efforts to rebuild in the wake of such devastation were nothing short of heroic, a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. Yet the physical destruction was just one aspect of the aftermath. The survivors known as Hibakusha bore the brunt of the long-term effects of radiation exposure. Their lives were irrevocably changed, marked by a litany of health issues from burns and acute radiation sickness to long-term ailments such as cancer and birth defects in subsequent generations. The bombing of Hiroshima also reverberated globally, leading to Japan's unconditional surrender and marking the end of World War II. This singular event, the unleashing of atomic power for warfare, brought about an abrupt halt to one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history. However, the end of the war did not signify the end of the story. The bombing sparked an ongoing debate about the ethics and necessity of nuclear warfare. Was the bombing justified given the lives it claimed, yet potentially saved by hastening the end of the war? This question continues to be a subject of intense discussion among historians, ethicists, and political scientists. The legacy of Hiroshima is not just a story of destruction but also of resilience, rebirth, and profound lessons. It stands as a potent symbol of the devastating power of nuclear weapons, their impact on humanity, and the ethical dilemmas they pose. The bombing of Hiroshima continues to serve as a stark reminder of the devastating power of nuclear weapons and the imperative for peace. The echoes of that fateful day in August 1945 continue to reverberate, reminding us of the urgent need for disarmament and the pursuit of a world free from the shadow of nuclear warfare.